wabaddeo katemba atali musasulire ku koti ya daily soccer wako yoze semi sango jobuli yake no bokeruzi mu Kampala nge ali omulamuzi we koti ya daily soccer wake sembabule silivia nanunji wakubyo mulango gutakungula wakati nga alindira koti okumugula ke misange ya mukwasi zolu na kulolu alero Mukoti wa mwanamuzi Sylvia Nanunji alabiseko no muwabi wa government eyagombedwa mu bwala bako Jacqueline ngabano bagasimba ganye no mwanamuzi Joan Yachiro koti abagude ke misango mwende jo buli bwenguzi ngabano chigambi bwante bali enguzi okuva ku John abamba siza ne mulanga Franco ne chigende elwe chyo kutakali ntu ZDK ya kakaluka koti wamuno okujja ku Eric Sabiti emisango Okusinzira ku ludo oluwa bichigambi bwanti omulamuzi Sylvia Namvuma wamuno omwabi wa government bako ku koti ya daily soccer wa Kesemba bule bali nguze soba mboka de 10 okuva ku kalintu ZDK yani Eric Sabiti town Semba bule district being a public official employed by the government of Uganda as a state attorney in charge of the resident state attorney's office, Sembabule, in performance of her public functions, solicited for, for gratification of Uganda shillings, two million, Uganda shillings, two million, five hundred thousand, from Karinti Zedekia, in exchange for the grant of bail to the said Karinti Zedekia Zedekai, who had been issued with criminal summons and um, NTUSI, that is in Pussy, CRB 034-2022. Stroke Have you had an understanding? Is it true it's not true? Mm -hmm. Set of offense, corruption, contract section 2, subsection A and 26 of the Anti-Corruption Act 2009 as amended. Particulars of offense, Bako Jacqueline, on the 12th day of April 2023, at the resident state attorney's office, in Sembabule town, Sembabule district, being a public official employed by the government of Uganda as a state attorney in charge of the resident state, state attorney's office, Sembabule, in the performance of her public functions, accepted gratification of 1,480,000 shillings from Mulangwa, Franco in exchange for the grant of bail to Karinti Zedekai, who had been issued with criminal summons on um, to see CRB 034 2022. Had an understood? Yes. Is it true or it's not? Count three, statement of offense, corruption, contract section two, subsection A and 26 of the Anti-Corruption Act 2009 as amended. Bako Jacqueline and Vanunji Sylvia during the month of April 2023 in Masaka City and Sembabule District being public officials employed by the government of Uganda as a state attorney in charge of the resident state attorney's office, Sembabule, and chief magistrate of uh, Sembabule, chief magistrate court, respectively, in performance of their public functions, solicited for gratification of um, 2,500,000 shillings from the relative of Ambassador John who was on remand on to see Sierra B 0342022 in exchange for his release on bail.
Miss Buck, have you had an understood? Yes. Is it true or it's not true? It's not true. Miss um, Nganji, have you had an understood? Yes. Is it true or it's not true? Yes. Hence, corruption, contrary to section 2, subsection A, and 26 of the Anti Corruption Act 2009 as amended. Particular as of offense. Bako Jacqueline, during the month of May 2022, at the Resident State Attorney's Office in St. Bavle Town, St. Bavle District, being a public official employed by the government of Uganda as a State Attorney in charge of the Resident State Attorney's Office, St. Bavle, in the performance of her public functions solicited for gratification of uh, 10 million shillings from um, Karin to Zedekai, one of the suspects on uh, Ntusi Siarabi, 034-2022, in exchange for excluding him from the charge sheet, where he had been charged with offenses of attempted murder, criminal trespass and malicious damage to property. Madam Bakwa, we had an understood. Is it true or it's not true? Section contract section 2 subsection A and 26 of the Anti-Corruption Act 2009 as amended. Particular as of offense, Bakwa Jacqueline, during the month of May 2022, at the Resident State Attorney's Office in Sembabule Town, Sembabule District, being a public official employed by the government of Uganda as a state attorney in charge of the resident state attorney's office in Babule in the performance of her public function. Functions accepted gratification of seven million shillings from uh, Karin to Zedekai, one of the suspects of um, to Ciara B, 03 stroke 2022 in exchange for excluding him from the charge sheet where he had been charged with offenses of attempted murder criminal trespass, criminal trespass and malicious damage to property have you had an understood count five yes. is it true it's not true it's not Corruption Contract Section 2A and 26 of the Anti-Corruption Act 2009 as amended, particular as of offense, Bako Jacqueline, during the month of March, April 2023, at the Resident State Attorney's Office in Zimbabwe, town in Zimbabwe district, being a public official employed by the government of Uganda as a state attorney in charge of the Resident State Attorney's Office in Zimbabwe, in the performance of her public functions, solicited for gratification of two million shillings from, from relatives of Sabit Eric, one of the accused persons on um, Ntusi Sierra B, 034-2022, in exchange of his release on bail. Madame Baka, have you had an understood? Yes. Is it true or it's not true? Yes. A plea of not guilty is entered. Count seven, corruption contract section two, subsection A and 26 of the Anti-Corruption Act 2009 as amended, particulars of offense, Bako Jacqueline during the month, the month of March and April 2023 at the, at the resident state attorney's office, Zimbabwe town in Zimbabwe district, being a public official, being a public official employed by the government of Uganda as a state attorney in charge of the resident state attorney's office in Babule, in the performance of her public functions, accepted gratification of two million shillings from relatives of Sabiti Eric. Wabu luva nyuma leo kugura kia misango jino wanaba jie ganyi. Oludo luwa vinga lukule mbedua mstanwe baini. Lutegeze za koti ngo kuno nyele za wekucha agenda mumaso. Elana lusaba koti okuluwa yobud. Omulamu zislivi ya nanunja atapadena mwona mateka. Nga echi kili demu koti. Alesa muemili deba sato okumuta kakalu kakoti. Wabu la koti ya ganyi okumuta kakalu. Oluva nyuma leo wabadewa muemili dobu tatuka na nabisanyi zobi ya koti. Uh, for a one. Your Honor, accused one is desirous of the 
so it's applying for bail. However, she has been delayed by her sureties. Uh, Your Honor, in the premises, we pray that court uh, grants an early adjournment in which court will hear the application of A1. In the alternative, you wash it. In the alternative, in the event that uh, the adjournment is uh, further than this week, you will wash it. It is our prayer that the court grants a production warrant after remand so as to enable the one make up the application to find the <coughs> tomorrow. I give a bet. And then I also give a prediction. I think the logical thing would be we just put the numbers in the chat, sir. Most of the time. My Lord, I've been cheat my district. And until that terminates my job. I still have a court to run. My Lord, I humbly pray that you permit my sureties to produce the necessary documentation because um, my demeanor speaks that I can't run out, I can't find. My Lord, also out of the eight counts I happen to appear on a count where my relative almost is. It's one count. My Lord, I humbly pray for bail so that I may also appear before my bosses for a few explanations because they need that. I humbly pray to overrule state submissions and permit me to produce the necessary documentation because I have nowhere to go. I'm married in Kulambi with children who need me. I so pray. And the chief state attorney Stanley Baine. And I must agree with him that uh, none of the sureties have presented any documentary proof of employment and place of residence for the second surety post per matching to the agenda. There is also no form of identification whatsoever. And these are critical documents that should at least be the mere, the bare minimum. Should at least be the bare minimum for this court to consider a surety substantial. With all these short, shortfalls, this court does not find any of these surety substantial. The applicant has prayed that uh, the documents be presented later, but then I am bound to exercise my discretion judiciously and within the laws of this land to read the bail guidelines, the Magistrates Court Act, and also the rules that govern this court where I sit to read the High Court and Corruption Division case management rules 2022. Going to the other aspects that the state has mentioned, like the gravity of the offense, the severity of the punishment, probably would be considered during setting the conditions of bail in any case. 
bail is granted. Then for the interference with witnesses, this submission has not been substantiated by the state in any way. With all the above, the shriek has been found not substantial. This court hereby declines to grant bail to A2 as requested for by counsel for A1. This matter is adjourned to the 23rd of November 2023 at 2 p.m. for a bail application for A1 and A2 can also reapply if ready by then. Wanamula msijo wani achira atade oru wanga abili musatu. Omwezo uge kuminogu mwuma kagu wanko mibili abili musatu. Nga wanamula msi nanunji wa kusaba kutia baka kaluka kuhoti buto. Omula msi slivi ya nanunji. Nomu wabi wa government bako Jacqueline. Yemisangu jino za mwezo uge wakuna. Mwuma kagu wanko mibili abili musatu. 